first IKEA hack, we're actually going to be making these wall organizers using materials that are found from IKEA actually in the plant section. So you're going to need two of these plant trellises. They actually come in a pack of two for $9.99, so under $10. You're going to need a hammer and some sort of hook to hang it up. And lastly, you're going to need some clips to clip things on it. So these are the hooks that I'm using. They were actually already in my wall from another DIY. So I simply just took each trellis and carefully hung it onto that hook. These are really sturdy, which is great if you use these type of hooks. You could also use nails, but I find that these hooks, once you clip things on it, they keep everything really balanced, so keep that in mind. After that, I'm just taking these little clips that I actually found at the dollar store and clipping little things on. I also found that this would be a really great sunglass organizer. If you have a ton of sunglasses, you can hang them up and they'll be really nice and even and aesthetically pleasing in your bedroom. So that is just the first IKEA hack. Again, like I said, you can use it for a ton of different organizational things in your room and it also looks super trendy and again very affordable because you get the pack of two for under ten dollars at ikea for the second IKEA hack, we're going to be making this artificial plant. These are super trendy right now, but they can be pretty pricey, so it's a lot easier to just make your own and more budget friendly. So for this, you're just going to need some leaves, faux leaves. I got these for $2 each at my local Michaels. Some rocks, you can find those at the dollar store. This little pot that I got from IKEA. Some quick water or resin. You're going to need a pair of scissors and then something to mix your quick water or resin together in. So for this, I'm just measuring out how long I want the leaves to be. I want one to be a little bit longer than the other so I just took my scissors after I measured it out here and I snipped off the plastic around the metal wire so just go ahead and take your scissors and cut the plastic that's around the metal wire and then you're just gonna bend the metal wire back and forth until it will just break off pretty evenly actually so this is a little difficult but once you get it, it as you see it just fell off right there so I measured it to make sure that was okay. Then I took my second leaf and measured that one out and repeated the same process. Just cut off the plastic and then bent it back and forth until the metal actually will just snap evenly off. And once you're done with that, I just placed them both in to make sure they were the right length. I then added the rocks that I got from the dollar store and just filled them all up. Keep in mind that you don't want your container to be too full because you do want to be able to have some room to add in the quick water. So I took a couple off once I was done filling it up and I just wanted to make it look pretty realistic. So here I'm just mixing the quick water together. If you use something else, you're gonna follow whatever instructions are on that box. But for quick water, you add all of the part B and then you mix in the part A. You don't wanna add the mixtures together too fast because then you're gonna create a ton of air bubbles. You wanna avoid that as much as possible. Doesn't matter too much in this DIY, but for future reference when you're using quick water. After that, you're going to take a plastic spoon or fork. Again, something that you're gonna be able to throw away because this will ruin whatever you're using to mix it. So just mix it again together for about three to five minutes and then you're going to add it to the pot of rocks. Now this is basically just going to add the appearance that the rocks are wet. So you're gonna fill it up to the top and then it's eventually going to sink down. And once it's all dry and finished, this is what your new artificial plant looks like. I absolutely love this thing. And again, it was super affordable to make. For hack number three, I made this IKEA color block stool that I've been dying to have for my living room. If you guys wanna see a living room tour, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. But for this, you're just going to need one of these wooden stools. They also come in white, so keep that in mind if you wanna use a different color. I actually decided to use black acrylic paint, not spray paint. I feel like it would be too much of a mess, so disregard that. And then you're going to need some painter's tape. So I went ahead and put this stool together. It honestly only took about 10 minutes, so it's not that difficult. You just pretty much have to place everything together and screw the screws in with the little tool that came with it. I didn't even have to use my own screwdriver. So then I just taped off it with painter's tape on the four legs. I did the bottom half in black. So the acrylic paint actually worked really well. I only needed one coat. And then I went carefully on the edges where the painter's tape were and painted that. And then once I did that, I removed the painter's tape immediately and the lines were super clean. Once it's dry, this is what your stool looks like. I really love the way it turned out and it looks a lot more expensive than what it was. So I absolutely love this Ikea hack as a new addition for my living room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.